My name's Masato Kimura. I joined the psychology department to fix my social anxiety and lack of verbal skills and learned all kinds of knowledge. And now, as I finally dive into my graduation thesis and join the seminar, I've realized something. All right, let's kick it off with self-introductions and thesis topics. Masato, you're up. Yes. Uh, um, hi, I'm Masato Kimura. In kanji, Kimura is like wood and village. Uh. Yep, what's the point of having all this psychology knowledge? All right, keep it up. Next up is Rina. I ain't been able to apply any of the things I learned in psychology to real life. Yes. Uh, why did I even study all this? Rina Ikeda. Thesis topic undecided. That's all. Uh, she's so cute. Wait, isn't she? Rina Ikeda. A name that buzzed around campus when she first enrolled for being too hot. But her tough-as-nails appearance and salty attitude kept everyone at bay for four long years. Of course, I'd heard her name before, but this was my first time seeing her up close, and... Her slender physique and cool gaze, she's my absolute perfect person! This is it! It's like the psychological mechanism called projection, man! It's love at first sight! Got something to say? Oh, uh, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm gonna make full use of all the psychology I've learned and get closer to her. And so, I started visiting the seminar room every day, embarking on a mission more important than my thesis. Uh, luckily, Rena still hadn't settled on a topic. It was time to put my first love psychology into action. Now, which one was it again? <sighs> yeah, that's right. The first move is the mere exposure effect. We gotta increase our encounters and make her conscious of me. Just being in her line of sight should have an effect, but if our eyes meet... Oh, snap! Uh. Man, her eyes are so beautiful. Wait, no! What was I supposed to do next? Some kind of dance, maybe? Hey. Uh. You're in the way. S sorry Weirdo. Ugh, this is gonna be a tough battle. After that, I kept going to the seminar room, making sure not to bother Rena too much and staying within her line of sight. But if things continued like this, I'd just be like an annoying fly. I delved even deeper into various papers, devising my second strategy. So, here's the deal. I've got a favor to ask you, my one and only friend. You know who I am? Oh, talk with a baby. Ask me anything. All right. I want you to come to our seminar room and subtly compliment me, you know? Oh, I see. You want to test the so-called Windsor effect, which states that people find information more believable when it comes from a third party rather than the person themselves. You catch on quick. All right, let's get to it. And so, this is your seminar room, huh? It's bigger than mine. R right It's like a reflection of your broad-mindedness. How about that, huh? Hey, can you move aside? I've got a part-time job to get to. Uh, yeah, sure. Masato, this seems like a problem that goes beyond psychology, huh? Ugh. After that, without losing heart, I kept approaching her, and about a month had passed. I realized that I couldn't bother her anymore, so I decided to go for my final plan. That's it. The Johari window! A straightforward and simple yet effective method of just complimenting the other person. I need to find the right moment. Why do you keep talking to me? It's not like you feel comfortable talking to me or anything, right? That's not true. It's just that I kind of like your cold attitude. Or should I say, it's become addictive. <gasps> of course, it's not just flattery. But if her response is just going to be another, huh, then I'll give up. H huh? Why are you... Uh, oh no! It's over! Oh, hey. Ah, <sighs> Even without studying psychology, it's obvious. I'm definitely hated. Yo, ain't you that nerd? Perfect timing! Oh, Chato. 
the guy who's been bothering me since that assignment back in first year. W well, as a token of my appreciation, tonight there's a group date with a girl I'm interested in, but we're short on guys. I'll go. Oh, that was fast. Normally, I definitely refuse to go to some mixer just to fill in the numbers, but in my current heartbroken state, I decided to give it a shot and drown my sorrows in alcohol. I still want to go home. Nobody will pay any attention to me anyway. Hey you, I'm Uzami, and just so you know, I'm super devoted. W what's up with her? Tell that to Chirao. This person, she's using me for the Windsor effect. <gasps> huh? Did someone leave? Well, I also want to leave, yeah. I'll go home. Wow, Uzami, you're a person who's only devoted to your BF, huh? That's amazing. Huh? Really? That's awesome. Heh, <laughs> my mission is accomplished. The next day, Rina was in the seminar room as usual, but I didn't approach her anymore. I've decided to give up. <sighs> but it's awkward when it suddenly goes silent. Well, it's my fault, though. <laughs> huh? <laughs> w why are you crying? Finally! I finally made up my mind! Wait, hold on! If you get a girlfriend, I have to think it all over again. Besides, I'm the one who's loyal and devoted. W what are you talking about? Rina, about your graduation thesis. Oh, take it easy, okay? N no don't leave, Professor! Oh, you sure? Ah, uh, right. Rina, your topic, Verification Experiment on Romantic Psychology, who will be your subject? It was supposed to be Masato Kimura. What? It seems that Rina's part-time job is at the Izakaya where we had the mixer yesterday. She witnessed Uzami cozying up to me for the Windsor effect. On top of that, since I suddenly ignored her today, she seems to have misunderstood that I dated Uzami last night. Um, to cut to the chase, I don't have a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, well, I probably won't ever have one, to be honest. Yay! Professor, I'm sticking with this plan after all. All right, but make sure to come up with a solid conclusion. Huh? Am I getting dragged into some outrageous verification experiment? The next day, uh, <sighs> something's definitely off. Could it be? Oh, finally our eyes met. Uh -huh. I'm sure just having you in my field of vision has an effect, right? It's definitely the mere exposure effect. The experiment has already begun. But she's too cute. I can't stare directly. Oh, hey, don't look away. One, two, three. Th this is... They say if you gaze into each other's eyes for seven seconds, you fall in love. It's more like superstition than psychology. Four, five, six. No, I can't do it. She's too cute. Ah, just one more second. Ugh. If I don't say it soon, it's pointless because I already love you. The next day, wondering why Rena brought a friend to the seminar room... So this is your seminar room, huh? It's so clean, you know? Could it be? It's like a reflection of your heart. It's the Windsor effect. And Rena may seem all nice and gentle, but she's actually a hard worker, you know? H hey She started working at the Izakaya to improve her social skills. And this graduation thesis is actually... No! Masato, don't listen! From then on, Rina's verification experiments continued every day, and she meticulously recorded my reactions and all. She's undeniably diligent and serious, though she's a bit airheaded, I feel. Um, is everything alright? Um, is everything alright? This is... the mirroring effect! It's about creating familiarity by mimicking the other person's actions. But, uh, I've got an idea! Meow. How about this? I bet she can't. M meow. What? She's too darn cute. So the mirroring effect is like a scream, huh? Hmm. I don't really get it. 
Well then, next up is the suspension bridge effect. So, keep your next day off free from me, okay? The suspension bridge effect. That's when the thrill of a haunted house or roller coaster is mistaken for the excitement of love, I guess. Wait, does that mean it's practically a date at an amusement park? That's what I thought, but the designated time is late at night. Moreover, it's in the outskirts, far from the city, and there's nothing but mountains and a golf course ahead. Masato, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, Rina. Get in, I borrowed it from my brother. What? Are you serious? Are you really a badass? It's close from here, all aboard. Y yeah. Wow, the car's BGM is so cute. The gain loss effect, also known as the gap effect, is on point, man. We're here. Here, take this, Masato. It's a flashlight. Rina, today we're verifying the suspension bridge effect, right? Yeah. Who comes to a real suspension bridge? Huh? Isn't that what it means? This ain't just about getting butterflies in the stomach, you know? What? Is it really that effective? Th that's not what I mean! Well then, let's go! Huh? Like this? Yeah, cause it's scary, you know? And so, the two of us embarked on crossing the real suspension bridge together. To be honest, it was freaking scary. But I felt like I was falling even more in love with Rena as I witnessed a new side of her. Suddenly, strong winds started blowing, so we decided to wait until it settled down. In the midst of the thrilling experience of being high up, in the darkness, with someone I liked, I decided to ask the question that had been bothering me. Rena, why did you choose to study psychology? I wanted to change myself, I guess. You know, I've always had trouble getting along with people. So, I borrowed my delinquent big brother's reputation and toughened up my appearance a bit. And no one would approach me. It was easy. But I was still lonely, you know. That's why I studied really hard and got into college to make friends. So that's how it was. But, you know, I realized in my senior year that having knowledge alone is pointless. I can't shake off this appearance anymore, and no one talks to me. Except for you, Masato. <gasps> Sorry for being so cold and rude to you, but I thank you a little, you know? Uh, nah, I should be the one thanking you. But at first, I really thought you were a badass person. Ha ha ha! Hey, who's at me? This thing is shaking so much! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Come on, cut it out! <laughs> Chato and Uzami! So, you guys are together. Oh, I should stop them. Hey, you guys! Uh -huh. If you want to fall so bad, should I drop you guys down? Whoa, sorry! You're scarier than ghosts! She really looks like a badass. Wait, was this a haunted spot? Seems like it. Alright, let's get out of here. Amidst all the chaos, the day of our thesis presentation was approaching. While other students had already finished, me and Rena were in crunch mode until the day before our seminar presentation. It seemed like Rena was stuck at the last minute. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep. She falls asleep so fast. But man, this is gonna be the last time I see her sleeping face. Once the thesis is done, I'll be useless. Huh? A conclusion, huh? I wonder what she's planning. Wait, what about me? Masato. Uh huh? Just some sleep talk. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing those kind of things. <laughs> what kind of dream is she having? It was the day of the thesis presentation. I managed to finish my presentation without any major hiccups, but the tension was still there. Yeah, I couldn't help but worry more about Rena's presentation, which was scheduled last. And finally, Rena's presentation began. The results of the experiment on subject A, me, were being presented one after another. And finally, for the conclusion, this empirical experiment was a failure. There were no effects based on the psychology of love. Uh -huh. The reason is, 
The subject didn't have feelings for me. That's all. Hmm. Let's move on to opinions and questions. Yes. Masato, go ahead. Indeed, it's a failure. There are significant flaws in this experiment. What? And because subject A has had feelings for you long before the experiment. <gasps> in other words, the subject fell for you at first sight and was already putting love psychology into action. Sorry, I should have told you earlier. Professor, may I modify the conclusion? Go ahead. Rena, what on earth? Love psychology does work. Because I also fell for you. Uh -huh. Honestly, at first, you were annoying. But seeing your face every day, talking to me, complimenting me. But when I thought you had a girlfriend, I realized that I like you. And that it was jealousy. Rena! I see. So I was the one who proved love psychology before you, huh? Yeah, but it wasn't psychology. Your feelings made me happy. Same here, Rena. From now on, I'll be more honest with my feelings. Will you stay by my side? Masato! Of course, darling! Uh -huh. Relying on knowledge alone isn't enough, just as I thought. It's the actions I took that got me where I am now. Oh, I'm still in the middle of the thesis presentation, aren't I? Phew, that was amazing. I've never seen a thesis presentation with such intensity. Professor, thank you so much. However, the conclusion in your paper is getting kind of complicated, so make some adjustments there. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll help her out. And so, we were caught up in revising the thesis until graduation approached, but it wasn't a pain at all. Hey, Masato. What did you think at that time? You were so cute. I felt like I could love everything about you. Oh my god. It's true love, darling. And just like that, we became the lovey-dovey couple on campus. By the way, Chato and Uzami apparently broke up after just one month. Our completed thesis received high praise, and we successfully graduated, got jobs. Welcome back, Masato. Wanna eat? Take a bath? Nah, it's me, right, darling? Yeah, Rina. Can you read my mind or what? Now, we're a lovey-dovey couple who can understand each other without any psychology. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos, too!